great, all right? I use this slope block every time at the office where I work and hopefully you can implement this in your work. Again, this is a dynamic slope that anyone can use to calculate. So today we're gonna learn how to automate this process of calculating slope percentages using a dynamic block. So the first step is um, to have any slope uh, number here and I'm gonna convert these single lines into a block by using the shortcut V and then I'm gonna name but that's a personal preference so I'm gonna click to open the block in the block editor that's what I'm gonna check and then I'm gonna um, also specify on a screen the for the base points so I'm gonna click OK and then following the instructions the base point is very important for this block because that's how we're gonna insert this block right so that's very important and how I want to insert this block is from this endpoint so that's what I'm gonna click and now I'm inside the block editor here we're gonna start adding some parameters some constraints and all of that good stuff to kind of automate our work right that's the final goal that we want to achieve with this um, dynamic block so the first thing that I like to do here with these uh, single lines again is to constrain them why because when we uh, stretch this um, when we stretch this um, slope that again we can use slope for anything right maybe calculating architectural ramps maybe calculating for engineers some um, cars or trucks slopes and so on so we want to constrain this and the way we can do it in an easy way is using the auto constraint command so that's what we're gonna use and then following instructions to select up. Oh, all right, so that's one of the first steps that we're doing to constrain these geometries. Next, what we like to do here. Hello everyone, welcome back to another lazy show where we teach you AutoCAD in a way that it's more productive so you can stop wasting your time. At or starting adding some linear uh, parameters here. So that's what we're gonna do from the ribbon and so like so and then following the instructions again um, I'm gonna start specifying my first point and then my second point which is right about here so I'm gonna name this height and then following the same steps I'm gonna add a second linear parameter from this point all the way to this other point and I'm gonna name this parameter length right so now we will need to this slope to stretch from this direction but in reality we don't need uh, this other stretch um, icon so the way I'm gonna erase it is by selecting this linear parameter going to my property palette and then go on the number of grips I can simply say zero and that way uh, I will get rid of this grip um, point right here All right so those are, are some of the first steps that we need to do in order to start constraining and adding information to this uh, slope block to make it dynamic right so that we can input a percentage slope and the block will adjust by itself so once we did this what we can do is open our uh, parameters manager tab from the ribbon so I can click on it and here it is here is our um, parameter manager again where we're gonna start inputting some uh, basic formula calculations to help us with the slow percentages all right so one of so I can add user parameters by clicking this icon that says create a new user parameter and then I can name my new user parameter in this case it's gonna be uh, and of course uh, we cannot use uh, special characters that the percentage character like this because AutoCAD won't accept this that's why I'm renaming it in a long way All right and then over here we can input a value 
we can again this is a personal preference maybe you use a slope measurement uh, often uh, in my case I'm gonna use the 8.33 because that's um, a slope for a handicap ramp in architecture but that's all up to you this won't affect the final block next um, what I like to do is test this block right um, but first why are we adding this slow percentage right here right the reason why we're adding this um, is because we want to be able um, to input a number or a percentage and the block will have to adjust based on this number and in order to make this happen we need to start adding a basic formula to the height of our block and the way we're gonna do it is by double clicking on the expression and remove this actual measurement and here what we can say is we want the length which is this um, number right here we want with this uh, character of course that that means a multiplication and then we want to multiply this uh, length by the slope percentage so that's what I'm gonna type and I want also the slope percentage to be divided by a hundred so that will give me the correct input for this specific height all right so once I do that I can simply press enter and then we can start testing this block to see how this block is behaving because again we don't want to keep adding parameters actions constraints information and then we realized uh, the block is not working then we will need to um, go to each step and try to fix the problem so that's what i'm gonna stop right here and do a quick test i'm gonna close this um, parameters manager and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to the test block option from my ribbon and then we're gonna do a quick test right so let's see if i stretch um, this slope all right it looks like the constraints are working properly as the um, angle or slope is keeping consistent when stretching this block and that's good now uh, the next thing we need to test is go to our properties and over here um, where the slope percentage uh, par parameter is we can input or change a number let's say for instance we can say 16 percent and press enter and great our slope is adjusting properly that means we're doing good so far but we need more here right because if we just give this block to a person they won't be able to figure it out what's going on right here like how would i know what slope is this ramp right now there's no way how would i know what's the height of this ramp or length we don't know that right so that's where let's go to the um, block editor again and let's start adding some useful information right here so the first information that i want to add is a height and length uh, measurements right and the way i'm gonna do it is using a, a simple dimension so i'm gonna use the dim command and i'm gonna go ahead and put my last point right about here and then also i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna add another dimension from this point to this other point and i'm gonna place it exactly around here right so two dimensions they are very tiny right now so let's fix those i'm gonna select both dimensions go to my property palette and i'm gonna change the overall scale right so that dimension shows correctly so right now it's one i'm gonna change it to about 10. that's a personal preference again but that's the size that i want for this block now in reality we don't need all of these extra lines for the dimensions and ticks and so on so that's why we're gonna hide those from the properties again if we go all the way up we can see arrow one and two we can definitely set those to none because in reality we only need 
the measurement we don't need any of these extra lines we're also gonna do the same for the dim line one and two we're gonna set those to off like so and finally there are some uh, extra lines from this dimension and we can turn those off from the extension line one and two like so all right great so we have only the measurements that we need and let's do a quick test now so i'm gonna go to test this block and let's see what we get so if i stretch this we can see uh, the numbers are updating uh, nicely however i see a couple of problems right here the first problem that i see is the um, roundness of the dimension you can see it's in a fraction and that's not what i want if you need an infraction that's good for you a problem is this uh, point or period over here from the dimension it looks looking funny <laughs> and that's not what we want all right so let's fix those two problems really quick i'm gonna go back to the block editor and the way i'm gonna fix it is first selecting my two dimensions and from the properties i'm gonna the one that we need is the dimension round off so i'm gonna round it to one inch and that will fix the problem number one and then for the second problem i'm gonna simply click this uh, point and put it all the way down like so and let's see if the other dimension have the same problem yes so i'm gonna click that and move it down like so all right so to see if the problems were solved, let me do a quick test again. And we stretch this, uh, are nicely being rounded to the one inch, which is great. You can also see that the second problem for on the weird dimension dot or point, it's also fixed. So we're in good. So let's see how we can implement that information somehow here inside this block so the person immediately knows that this slope is at certain percentage all right so let's do that um, so let's go back to our block editor and introduce an attribute so the way i'm gonna add an attribute is by using the att um, shortcut so over here what i can add for the tag it's something like slope for reference only why because again this attribute i don't want the person to input numbers i only want this as a reference so they know immediately what is the current slope right so i'm gonna copy and paste the same over here and for this default value this is very important so pay attention so the way we're gonna do it is introducing a field expression that can be uh, dynamically um, modified so and the field that i'm gonna use is from the block place holder option why because this option block place holder is gonna use the information from this current dynamic block you can see the name is lazy slope that's the name of our dynamic block and you can see when i pick block block place holder immediately autocar recognize that this is the block that we want to get the information from and the information that we need is the slope percentage right this is again a personal preference but i'm gonna pick decimal and i'm gonna pick my precision to two two characters like this and then i'm gonna click ok to accept that and here for the size uh, we can change the text size later from our screen so that's not a problem if we don't know right now the size but for the justification that's important because i want to place my attribute on this corner right here and when i stretch this block i want to keep my attribute right there so what i'm gonna do bottom right because again i'm gonna place it right here on the bottom right and i'm gonna click ok so i can now place my attribute in this corner like so and you can see that the attribute is very tiny that's not a problem uh, we can go ahead and change from the properties the height to about let's say one inch that's fine so it's match my dimensions 
and I'm gonna move it about right here. All right, so you can see that this attribute is not really showing, you know, a value that we want, but that's because we are still. In so let's quickly test this block and let's see what we get. So as you can see, now the person knows that this slope or dynamic slope block is has a percentage of 8.33%. Now, if I change that value from our properties, let's say our ramp is 5%, I can say five, and you can see the ramp immediately adjusts. And when I regenerate my drawing with RE, or you can even just leave it as that, but I'm gonna regenerate and you can see that 5% is now. I still see a minor problem here. And the problem is that um, we don't have a percentage symbol here, right? This can be uh, maybe just five feet, five inches, whatever. So we need a percentage symbol over here. And let's do that. So I'm gonna close the block editor and I'm gonna double click on my attribute and simply input the percentage symbol right there. I'm gonna click, that's the percentage already. And I'm gonna test my block, right? So now, since we already test most of these features, I'm gonna test it from model space. And this will be the final test. So the way we can fix this is using the ATT sync option to kind of sync our block, right? So I'm gonna select that. And with the select option, I can select my block like so and say yes and my block will or my attribute will show as expected by selecting my block and from my uh, properties uh, where it says slope percentage a33 again we can change this value to any value that we want maybe we can say 16 percent and then when we regenerate our drawing we will be able to see those inputs right there. great right I use this slope block every time at the office where I work and hopefully you can implement this in your work. Again, this is a dynamic slope that anyone can use to calculate.